everybody, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in today's video we are going to be looking at a software called Vidnami. Now it's still known to most people as Content Samurai and that's what you can see on this particular sales page. You can see the Content Samurai branding here. It's recently been rebranded and I presume they're going to update this stuff but before we look into this tool, Video creation and video marketing is super powerful. There's so much traffic to be had on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook through the power of video. But the problem is a lot of people are shy, they're introverted, they don't want to appear on camera and they don't want to use their own voice. And this is why a software such as Vidnami is so powerful. Now other people that don't mind being on camera but they're not that technical. So Adobe Premiere or Vegas Studio, they're fantastic tools, but they have a very steep learning curve and not everybody wants to take the time to learn them and not everybody needs to create Hollywood style videos. So if you wanna get into video, if you want a quick way of creating videos and you don't wanna go through the technical learning curve and you're afraid of appearing on camera, then this is for you. It's an absolutely amazing tool. It's supported, it's updated, and it's probably one of the best things that I've ever bought online. So without further ado, let's look inside. Okay, so here we are inside of the app itself. Now the first thing you may notice, apart from this welcome video of course, is that we have the Content Samurai branding still here. They should change this to Vidnami fairly shortly as they are going through the rebranding process. If you scroll down, they have a support desk here which is very, very responsive. And they have a Facebook group which is incredibly active and you can get feedback on your videos and ask questions and get tips from other users who are very proficient with the tool. If you want to actually use it, you click on this blue button and that will take you over to something that looks like this. And you can just see all of the different styles of video that you're going to create. Now I'm not going to take you through each style and create one for you to show you how it's done because in essence it's the same process. But I will briefly explain to you the different styles of videos you can make. Videos for social media, these are more for people that want to make their videos and put them on Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter. These are square videos, so they're 1080 by 1080. Video from a blog post is what most people use Content Samurai for. If we click on this, you can use these for YouTube videos. And what you, in essence, do is you copy a script, you paste it in. And this tool is very, very clever because it uses artificial intelligence to pull up images and clips that relate to the words that you've typed in. I'll show you this in a second. And all you've got to do is basically go through the slides one by one to ensure everything matches up. It's really simple. And again, I'll show you in a sec. One of their video styles is called influencer videos. And this is also great for Facebook and YouTube. So these top three are for Facebook. These ones are more for YouTube. But this is where you can actually record yourself speaking and then you can put the bars at the top and the bottom. And you've probably seen these styles of videos for Facebook ads. A lot of you know big brands use these styles of videos and they're super easy to create inside of the software. We have these things called instant ads. So if you wanna create short snappy videos for ads, you can use these templates. Uh, and even though this one's called Red Roses and this one's called Be My Valentine, you don't have to create stuff related to love or Valentine's Day. Um, you can change the images, you can change the coloring to whatever you want. Sales videos, if you want to sell your own products and services, you don't need to invest in any other tools because you can use their templates in here. And I'm sure you've seen these kind of sales videos. And sales videos really, really work. So if you've got a product you want to sell, use this part of Vidnami. Um, if you want to create videos for your course, if you teach people, you can use these templates and actually put your tutorials inside of your course using Vidnami. And if you're into property, they've got a special section for property as well. I'm not really into this particular section, so I don't use this. And you can, of course, have your own custom templates. So let's go back to video from a blog post, and I'll just show you how simple it is. So you can go through and you can choose whichever thing looks nice. So you can have, you know, the bars with the text, or you can have just the text. It's entirely up to you. So I might choose, let's just choose this one, okay? Now, if I wanted to, I could customize this and I could change the colorings, I could change the fonts, I could change a bunch of stuff. As you can see here, the highlighted text is now in orange. So if I wanted to, I could switch it to green or I could go back to orange. I could do really what I want. So let's uh, leave it at orange. And you can play around with this um, and you can save it and you know use that template moving forward. So let's just choose this generic template here. We'll click use this template. And then we'll need to give it a title. So I'm just going to put this demo for YouTube. 
And I've got a, a little bit of a script here. It's not a whole video script because that would take a little bit too long for this particular video, but I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this script in here. And you want to make sure that for each sentence is on its own line. So for example, this sentence will basically be one slide. Uh, this sentence will be one slide. So if you've got a very long sentence, you may want to split it up, for example, like this. Um, and then I'll just change that to a capital T. And I'm actually just going to um, remove this to make it quicker. Once you're happy with your text, and you can of course come back and change this at any time if you make a mistake, you hit create scenes. And the software will go and create scenes based on your text. Once this is done, it will populate. Now, this is probably one of the strengths and slight weaknesses of this tool, is it can sometimes pull odd images or odd um, clips. So here we've got clips, which are obviously like video images, or we've got actual still images. So let's, in my example, I probably want to focus on this, um, lose weight. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to type in lose weight, and hit go. And it will find images. Now these images are royalty free. I have the rights to use these images. So now I can come down and I can think, oh, this one looks good. So I'll click on this. And now that looks much better. And I'll decide that I actually want to bolden this and bold this. And I'll just take this away and I'll unbolden this. And then all I do is I scroll down to the next one, scene two, okay? And the tool has decided to highlight the word make, which doesn't make much sense to me. So I'm going to unbolden that. And I'm just going to cover these, make these bold. And I can just put the word hungry in and see what that brings up. Okay, and let's just choose, you know, this one. Okay, hungry and unsatisfied. And we do the same thing. Now, sometimes they will pull clips or images that you think, well, that really matches what I want. And sometimes you'll have to go in and manually do it. So again, I might just come and unbolden this. So I'm just gonna presume that everything else is fine. I'm not gonna go through and check everything else. When I'm happy, I will click add voice track to your video. So I can click on this. Now you've got several options here. You can um, just have music only, so you don't have to add a voice track. And they've got royalty-free soundtracks in here. Um, you can use their auto voice. So if your English is not your first language or you don't want to put your voice on, they have a bunch of voices which sound fairly decent, but they will still sound a little bit robotic. You people can play around with this. Or you can upload a voice track. So what I tend to do for my videos is I'll have my script ready. I will use a free tool called Audacity, which you can download for free. It works on a Mac or a PC. And I'll just record my voice. You can, of course, outsource this. And then I will upload the file here. And I've not got one ready in this instance, but you can upload either an MP3 or a WAV file, and then you can play around with it. But we'll choose music only, and then we'll hit preview video. And I'll just pause while this goes on. And then you can play your video, and this one's just a test video, so it's 19 seconds, but you can play your video here, and if you think it looks good, you can click this, or you can click on this manually adjust timing. But actually, before we do that, I'll show you a few other options. You can add a watermark here, so you can upload your different logos, and you can watermark your video so that if people steal it, because people are quite unethical online, your logo will be on it. You have these options here. Uh, you can adjust the music volume and this is really important if you've actually uploaded your own voice track you may want to have the music in the background so you may want to have it quite quiet um, you can decide how long the scene stay up for you can play around with it here let's click on manually adjust timing and this is going to upload a second it's going to load all this stuff and this allows you to sync stuff and this is again really really important if you have your own voice track uploaded because your voice track will play down here and you'll want to make sure that your voice and the scenes actually sync and match up. Because if you speak really quickly, but the scenes take time to switch over, it won't always, you know, look smooth. So you can kind of press play and you can drag the scenes back and forward so that they appear at the right time. Once you're happy, you can click looks good continue. And then you hit, you've got to basically just wait for the video to generate. You click on this generate button. It will generate the video and then when it's ready you can download it to your computer and that's it now this will depend on the length of your video um, how many people are using this app at the same time your connection speed as well 
you know how complex your video is but it can be fairly quickly now I've got Camtasia running so you know it might take a little bit of time for me um, but that's that it's really really simple so I'm just going to click back here and again if you ever find you made a mistake you can click back on the scenes or the script and you can edit it and then kind of go back super simple you never have to be on camera if you don't want to you don't have to use your own voice although I would recommend that you do use a human voice personally um, and there's so many things you can do with this. Now, one of the key points to these kind of videos is people think, great, right, I can make all these videos, I never have to appear on camera, and I can just upload videos to my YouTube channel, and it sounds great in theory. But of course, there's a lot of moving parts to the you know YouTube methodology. If you want to make money with video, it's not just about getting these videos and putting them on YouTube. You need to, of course, make sure that you've got content ideas, you need to make sure that you've got a script, you need to make sure that you know your videos push the right button so that you get conversions. Um, and every video has a different end goal. So anybody that um, wants to join my free Facebook group, there'll be a link in the description as well as, as to actually pick this up. But you can join my Facebook group and we'll give you tips and tricks on not only how to rank your videos, but also how to get more conversions with your videos, whatever it is you're trying to do. So I did mention below that there will be a link for you to pick this up. Um, if you click on the link below this video, it'll actually take you to my written review on my Beers of Adam's site, and then there'll be a button if you want to, to actually pick this up. Now, from time to time, they do have special deals. Um, and if you come to this video during that time, you should be able to pick up a special deal. If you're in my Facebook group, I always update people exactly when these deals go live, so you can actually get it at the cheapest possible rate. But if you come here and you're watching this video, and there is no deal, it's still cheap, and it's still an amazing tool. They don't you know, hit you up with other, other promotions for other stuff. There are no upsells or downsells. They're consistently upgrading this tool. They support it. And it's one of the best tools that you can have in your arsenal if you do any form of video marketing or video creation. So that's my Vidnami review, my Vidnami overview. I hope you got some value from it again. Check it out below and any comments, leave them as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.